राउंड वाले का ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड प्लानिंग होराइजन एंड व्हाट इज प्लानिंग होराइजन बेसिकली द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर प्रोडक्शन are basically calculated and net requirements are actually charged and calculated for example if the sales order is for 100 pieces and 50 pieces are remaining the net requirement is 50 additional pieces not 100 and so the system actually calculates and forecasts three weeks or three months or whatever the period and based on that it calculates the net requirement so if you plan today it will consider till this time and this can be configured and fixed that will see and if you wait till the next day it will then stretch it and include this part in forecast as well so what we have actually maintained in our configuration is Three cars will be made with this denomination, that are fifty percent of our production will be M eight hundred. Auto will be thirty percent. Wagon R is twenty percent. Sales order is hundred. Stock that we have is fifty. So net requirement is fifty. With lot sizing and lot for lot quantity. So procurement of production or lot quantity will be only will only be fifty percent, fifty uh, pieces, and required quantity is fifty pieces. So the planning run basically how it is done. The net requirement that we just discussed actually then calculates lot size. It calculates the order size, order quantity. Okay. When the lot size is finalized, procurement. is specified whether it will be produced in house or it will be procured from the outside and then it will be scheduled for production if it is in house production and calculation of received dates whether what date production and external procurement will dispatch it and how much time it will require to reach the doors of the gates of the warehouse and then based on that scheduling the form is then explored for its components for dependent requirements now dependent requirements like spare parts that are required to make a motorcycle now scheduling sometimes if you plan scheduling in that way that your production cycles can extend from the time that you have planned okay so there can be incorrect scheduling in material must that we can so we have like two types of scheduling backward and forward like start date is 13th november 2012 finish date is 15 november for production forward scheduling is current date and then 3 days after that which is 15 november 2000 12 for example we have a material component and we want we want to have a break up because this is a finished product so how many semi finished products will be needed and how many raw materials will be required to make this finished product so that is basically this aggregation and that is also a part of your planning run now if you look at this md01 mrp run let me just uh, bring out sap first
So MD01 MRP run. MD01, this is for MRP. And yes, we have yet to find that error in our material master because I believe it's the field selection. We are pretty much near to correct it, but yet we, because I believe it's coming from taxation area. Okay. MD01, usually MRP consumes system resources. System resources, as in it has to plan materials for production for this plant, double A fold two. Okay. The scope of planning, of course, will, will have that planning will be available. That will mention over here. And there are three parts to your MRP run. First is the header area, then control parameters, which has like six and seven uh, variables, variants, and then control parameters, process control parameters are there. So we will actually create an MRP run for all the materials with net change in total horizon. Now, what is total horizon? We'll see that in the next later uh, parts of the presentation. Scheduling lines. If you remember, we created material master with scheduling requirements Okay, in MRP. Purchase requisition in opening period. Now, if the material requirement planning dictates that your material has to be procured, it will auto create requisitions in opening period okay and the planning mode the options that we have in planning mode are adapt planning data re-explore bomb and routing delete and recreate planning data so we'll adapt the planning data that whatever we have created at this level will be adapted. Okay. File processing display material list that have materials uh, being run to MRP. But this actually creates and uses many system resources and it slows the processing and blocks materials from operations. So MRP has to be run in background with T code MDBT. Okay. MDBT. Over here, we can start our MRP using background jobs and programs that basically will run and execute MRP in the background. It can be started or it can be scheduled, and we can create variants. We can create variant. Okay, and let's see MRP double A four double A four two. Okay, and then of course we can carry it forward. Okay, so let's just go over the details first, and then we'll see. MDBT and MD zero two. MD zero two is for individual materials. Okay. And the bomb levels are single item and multi-level bombs can be created in MD02. Uh, in MD02, of course, it checks all the components, all the levels of raw material and semi-finished goods and then explodes it. MD01 happens at plant level that we've seen. MD02 is multi-level and single item and MD03 is single item and single level. So what are the planning types? We have total planning, which is it plans our materials for a specified plant. Single item multi-level planning. It plans a complete bomb for a single material. Single item, single level planning, planning a single material at one level. So if it is a very simple structure or a small business, then of course, Production can be simple, and so it will be feasible for them. Interactive planning, where we can actually make changes to MRP based on 
custom orders. What are the control parameters that we saw? Control parameters that a single item planning will be done or total item planning will be done for materials at a plant level. The types that we have during the regenerative planning, all MRP types uh, items are planned for a plant. We'll discuss what is regenerated. The net change planning procedure, which is MD01, net change in total horizons. What options do we have and what is total horizon? We'll just discuss that. Okay, we have net change and uh, planning horizon. Regenerative planning. Okay, now regenerative will just discuss that. In net change planning in planning horizon, MRP is carried out only with the defined planning horizon. So we need to have a planning horizon. What is this planning horizon? We'll just see that. Now in MD02, we have six control parameters. We'll just see that. MD02 will have it on a material MRP areas that will define and the plant and the total horizon, the scheduling horizon for net requirement planning. That is basically the horizon. Okay. Over here, we have uh, additional parameters for materials plant unchanged components. Unchanged means components that have fixed quantities and that will be required for production. Display results prior to saving, display material list and simulation mode. Rest of the controls are all the same. So processing the net change plan horizon, net change plan regenerative horizon. Now regenerative, it's used for beginning stages when your production cycles are not mature enough we regenerate it so that we can actually arrive at the right set of quantities net change planning in the planning horizon is another type of processing and net change planning of course based on the requirements of your inventory regenerative planning which is run in the beginning with master data discrepancies or shortcomings when material mass or other details are missing or are incomplete when production cycles are fresh for your factory. Okay, and it is also run at the beginning of the month, week or end of the month. And it runs for all materials, irrespective of any changes. Net change planning in planning horizon. So if there is any change in the planning horizon in material requirements and net requirements, of course, that is adjusted with the planning horizon, the period, the schedule. For, and the period that we take is from current day to how many days in future look for changes and those changes are then adjusted. For example, if, if days changes of production, then of course the quantity of production per day will also change. This is the planning horizon that we plan for production of the material from this date to this date. This can be weeks, this can be months based on your requirements and industry. So if there is, for example, a delay or a wait for a day or a week, the planning horizon stays the same of the same schedule, of the same days that is fixed. But of course, it gets extended to the next day or next week, whatever. Because this was not included in forecasting, but now it is included because a week or a day has extended. Now, plan parameters, planning horizon, this will actually see from T code OPPR, okay. OPPR, plant double A code to create MRP group. MRP group A
create Okay, over here we can reschedule the horizon. Okay, rescheduling we can give in the days tolerance value that can be given in tolerance value for displacement for plus minus difference in days and production. Okay. So this is how you actually maintain your planning horizons and safety stocks and other controls are here. We'll also discuss those as well as we move forward. Okay. So that was that. Uh, we'll be continuing our discussion from here.